So one of the most common queries we get from customers deploying the Horizon Cloud service on Azure is how to get their certificates into the correct format to import both into the UAGs and into the smart node. And you actually need two different formats. So I'm going to show you the process that I've come up with, which is the easiest way to ensure that you get the certificates in the right format. So first things first is typically most certificate authorities will let you export something in a PFX format. That's what I'm going to start with. Now I've downloaded a version of OpenSSL, which I'm going to run a series of commands to convert this PFX into a number of files that we need to assemble. The first command that we need to execute is one that generates the client certificate. PKCS12-in, the PFX file name, no keys, which means we're not generating any private keys, CL certs, which generates the client cert only, and then the out file. And then we give it a name with a .crt extension. We run this, we enter in our password for the PFX, and it'll then export that certificate. So the next thing we need to do is generate the private key that accompanies that certificate. And we do that with this command. So open SSL, pkcs12-in, the name of the PFX file, dash nodes, dash no cert, so we're not exporting the certificate, so we'll just get a key, dash out, and then the actual file name we want to export the key to. We get prompted for the password again. And now we've exported the private key of that certificate. So the next piece of the puzzle is we need to export both the intermediate and root CA certificates and then merge them together into a PEM file. The easiest way I found to do that is to actually open the client certificate, go to the certification path and then open each one of these one by one. So if we view this certificate and go to details, we can actually copy to file. Now we need to choose a base64 encoded format and we specify our file name. We want this to have a .crt extension. And now that's been exported. And then the final file to export the root CA, the file. So now what we need to do is just take that extra file extension off the end. Now what we need to do is actually create a PEM file. I'll create a text file, call this So this is where we aggregate together all of this key material. So if we open this PEM file, we want to import all of the certificates in this order. So as we go through, I'm going to open up the actual client certificate, open it in Notepad. I'm then going to copy the key material out and replace that here. I'm then going to open the intermediate certificate. Copy that content where the intermediate CA goes. I'm going to open the root CA cert. Then I'm going to open the private key. Need to make sure it's in RSA format as well, because if it's not in RSA format, there's an additional command you need to convert it. Save that and close. So now that that's complete, the only other thing that we need to do is to open the root CA. and append this to the end of the intermediate. 
and now delete this root CA certificate. So what we're left with at the end of this process is four files that we've generated. The PEM file is used for importation into the unified access gateways, either the internal or external set that you deploy. And because it's in a single file, it contains the client certificate, any intermediary certificates, the certificate for the root certification authority, which the certificate's been issued from, as well as the private key for the client key. The other three files, are what we import onto the pod, which is and then used for the internal connections that don't go via UAGs. First CRT file includes the client certificate only. We've then got the key file, which is the accompanying private key. And then we've got the remaining file, which includes the certificates for both any intermediaries and the root certification authority.